Why don't you do an actual review? All you did was list the positives and what you liked, not what you disliked and the negatives, because there are lots of it. Well, here's the thing. When it comes to any movie, good or bad, I love movies so much that I always prioritize what I liked about a movie, the quality of a movie, what worked, and most importantly, what is the movie trying to say? TikTok only gives me three minutes to talk about a movie, so sometimes it's hard to fit in everything that I liked, everything that I didn't like for a two hour plus movie. Also, it's very easy to come online and talk about any movie just to say, that sucked, dog water, garbage, waste of time. But I don't like to contribute to that kind of cynicism of film criticism where the mentality is I'm going to go into every movie getting ready to tear it apart because I just want to look smarter than other people or I don't want to look as dumb as the other people that are enjoying it. There's that kind of toxic mentality with film criticism that I just never want to be a part of. I choose not to spend my time focusing on the things I didn't like about a movie. I love to point out the things I liked about a movie. With the way that I approach film criticism, I hope to encourage people to go into every movie, no matter what anybody says, critics, audience reviews, Rotten Tomatoes, you know people look at that stuff. I hope people go into every movie with an open mind, wanting to like it. Because who wants to go into a two hour plus movie and waste their time? No. But we know those people that go into movies that are already hating it before they see anything. With a movie like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, I actually didn't have that many flaws with it. I enjoyed it for what the movie is. They set to tell a wacky, bizarre, weird adventure in the quantum realm with Ant-Man. It's exactly what I expected and I enjoyed it for what it is. It is self-aware. Just look at the way they handled MODOK. They're basically telling me, hey, we're self-aware that this is not really to be taken seriously. We hope you can just have a good time. And for the way they executed that, I was like, oh, okay, I'm in for this kind of ride. If you guys were okay with the first Ant-Man, the second Ant-Man, the second Ant-Man had an ant playing drums, then you shouldn't be too surprised with Ant-Man 3. As for the negatives of the movie, I felt like the visual effects most of the time were pretty rough. There should be no reason why the first Ant-Man has better visual effects than the third installment. I think Marvel needs to slow it down a bit and put more emphasis and effort in their visual production side for their movies. Number two, I felt like this tone wasn't the best to serve the story of Kang the Conqueror and his beginning of taking over. And three, where's my boy Luis?